It is true that we are heavily influenced by our origins and surroundings. Some are so that there is a fear that we will become the very thing our ancestors stood for. There are those that have changed that and worked to differentiate themselves from their origin. However, this is a very rare occurrence. Despite that, many believe that our origin is not only inescapable, but also the very thing that drives us forward. This concept is known as zip code is destiny. There's that part of us that always questions whether our lives have been laid out for us, and if we're simply tracing steps. There are those that believe that life isn't preordained, but is greatly influenced by our precomings. Especially in the context of education, we all have dreams, but oftentimes those dreams don't come true. In education, there are those who start at the very bottom, with nothing but themselves to carry on. The truth of the world is that only a few make it in education, not just in terms of intelligence, but also in terms of opportunity. It's this aspect that I'm going to investigate. The point of this study is to figure out if our location really does impact our educational opportunities, and if there is something that can be done in order to better understand this and allow for greater educational opportunity. There are many public educational institutions, there are still limitations placed on every student to perform, to represent, to lead, and to not break under the pressure. In education in this context, it's to obtain the skills necessary to carry out a job in life. Regardless of what that may be, there is no doubt that everyone doesn't start at the same point. Some have assistance, some have handicaps, and others don't even start. The race is said to be for a common goal, but the way people get to that end is anything but common. Because of all these different factors, it might be that we need to change the definition of education and what equal opportunity actually means. Because of all of these factors, the definition may be more individualistic and based on one's personal experience. Once we have defined what education actually means, then we can start to talk about how you reach it. What is your education? And what is your destiny? The answer may be right in front of you.